All right, we are gonna do a little non-scientific test. First, I need to block this vent, okay? Because we wanna test, see how much air gets into this opening underneath the hood. Let's pop the hood. I wanna show you what I'm talking about. Okay, that opening. A lot of people are claiming that if you cut this or open it up, you're gonna see a difference in your IATs, or it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna make a difference. So we're gonna test it a little non-scientific way. First things first, I need to block the incoming air through here first to make this fair. And then we're gonna bring the vehicle up to speed. We're gonna drive it down the road with this blocked first at a certain amount of uh, miles per hour, check the IATs, and then we're gonna take it off and see if it changes at the same mile per hour. First, let's get this blocked. All right, as you can see, the opening is blocked using a little bit of Gorilla Tape. Now we're gonna tape over that opening, bring the vehicle up to speed and see what the IATs are. All right, we've got the opening blocked. We're gonna shut the hood. We're gonna make sure this is secure. Nothing can get in, there we go. Nice and secure. No air can get through. We don't have any air coming through the scoop. Just the normal vents. Well, a couple extra, but that'll, it shouldn't change. Once we open that up, we should see if there's any change coming through here, okay? Next step, let's get the vehicle up to uh, normal operating temperature. So now we're loading uh, our performance pages so we can see what the IATs are gonna be. Now we need to bring the vehicle up to normal operating temperature before we do this non-scientific test. But if I remove that opening, theoretically, or by some of the claims that you see online, we should see a drop in our IATs. We'll give this test a plus or minus of five degrees IAT. There should be enough airflow to affect it. Um, one to three, I would assume just driving along, um, you know, is gonna fluctuate, but we'll see, we'll see what it is. So right now, coolant temp, trans temp, we wanna go to intake air temp is pretty much what we're gonna be focusing on. All right, so right now it's at 73 degrees. We're gonna let the vehicle get nice and warm before we test this. We'll check back here in a second. All right, we are at normal operating temperature. Coolant is 185. Trans temp is still coming up because we've been sitting here at idle. And it's 86 degrees, the intake air, on a 45 degree night because we're sitting here at idle waiting for this to come up. All right, 186. Now we're gonna start driving. This 87. This is gonna come down. All right. We're gonna start driving. This is with everything blocked. And we're gonna let it neutralize. We're gonna get out here on the road. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go 20 miles an hour. I think the speed limit is uh, 25. We're gonna go do the speed limit, let this neutralize for about a mile and see what the temps are. All right, so the intake air is coming down a little bit because it's getting a little cool air blowing around. track mode if anybody's curious. my 
my speedometer. We're at 36.679. I'll take it to about 80, 81 to two miles like this. I gotta go a little slower. Make sure I stay within the uh, parameters of our non-scientific test here. We're fluctuating between 30 and 35 miles an hour. realize how hard it is to go to the speed limit at this hour all right so we're pretty steady we're holding steady 185 77 we just went our first mile or almost our first mile fluctuating a little bit I need to bring it back down so it's right around 77 78 okay Seven. 77 seems to be the, the temp. We're right around 35, 36 miles per hour. I got a lot of traffic coming up behind me. Probably pissed off. as soon as I slowed down. So, I'm gonna let this traffic pass. We're gonna get out right now. We're gonna remove that tape that's blocking that opening where that um, device would be. So, let's pop the hood, show you that it's still there. It's still there, let's pull the tape off. There, the tape is off. Now that opening, turn the light on here for a second. All right, there. The tape is in my hand, the tape is off. Now we should see it's a temperature change. The tape is still gonna stay right there in the, in the opening now. All right. miles an hour 35 at the most let the temperature settle back down as we sat down for a second and 31 32 84 it's coming down a little bit 82 34 miles an hour Thirty-five miles an hour. We're at eighty-two. extra air getting in it should drop right down but it's still hanging at 80 36 miles an hour right about where we were for our first test it's still at 80 it actually went up okay that's weird but remember for this test we're a couple degrees degrees of uh, IAT shouldn't we should have a little bit of room for a little bit of uh, wiggle room it's still at 80 it should drop though 37 miles per hour oh here we go got a little bit of movement 
78, not 80. I don't know, it doesn't know what it wants to do. 37 miles per hour and we're still at 80. <laughs> it went up. That's great. 36 miles per hour, 78. Oh, here we go. We're almost down back down to 77. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> I might just replace that tape. 37 miles per hour. IATs are still at 80. 38 miles per hour. Nothing has changed. The temperature is still 45 degrees outside. 78 degrees on the intake air. 80 degrees. And we're coming to a stop sign. So this is going to shoot up. Well, that's been about a mile, mile and a half. It should have shot right down. It's actually going up because I'm slowing down, but 30. Wow. If this test is anything, it's funny. All right. I'm going to pull over here and get that tape off of my hood scoop. Jesus. 78. 78. Oh, 80. Well, in other words, be your own judge on whether or not cutting the hole matters, um, buying a piece matters. I think the piece that they manufactured looks awesome. I have to pull this tape out. There. Now, we got a hood scoop. Let's see how much air we get. back up to uh, 30, 30 miles an hour real quick, see if it affects it any. 30 miles an hour. Let me stay right here for a second before we get on the interstate. 86. Even with the hood scoop. Oh, it's dropping a little bit. All right, 34, 35. Is that 84? Now, the, the hood scoop being open should have dropped it down right away. Theoretically, the air is going right into the engine bay. Why is it staying right there? So it's 36 miles an hour. 39. I don't want to go too fast, but I am getting on the interstate. <laughs> so in conclusion, draw your own conclusions. But that's it. Non-scientific test. I gotta get home.